Hi guys, it's Amy Star Allen with amystarallen.com and I just um, received a question from somebody in my audience wanting to know um, if it's legal to use images that you find on the internet in your marketing and on social media and so forth. And um, so I wanted to create a quick video just to show you where you can find images that are legal to use where you're not going to get in trouble for copyright infringement where you can find royalty free images and there are a lot of sites that you can find images on um, in this video I'm just going to show you a couple of my favorite ways to find images and below the video there'll be links to other places where you can find free images so if you're watching this video on YouTube just click the link in the description and that will take you over to my blog where you'll find the rest of the information to go with this video including links to other websites and um, there'll also be another video on that blog post um, and if you're on my blog it'll be below this video showing you how to easily add text to your images using an app on your phone that you can um, that's great to use for social media so for finding really good images high definition images that are royalty free my favorite site that I use more than any other site is Pixabay and that's P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com and what I love about this site is you know when you come to the home page you'll see there's just some random photos here and they're all stunning and beautiful but what I love about this site is it's really easy to search by keyword so you can put in you know if you're looking for a picture of like happy people or whatever you can put in a keyword like happy and you'll see you can actually put in happy people as well to limit it even more but if you put in happy you'll see here's a, a bunch of images that show things that are happy right and when you come to the bottom of the page it'll show you how many pages of images there are so there's 221 pages of images with the keyword happy so if you wanted to limit it even more like you know that you want there to be people in the image or a person in the image you can put happy people and now you've limited it even more with more keywords so now all the images have people in them and when you come to the bottom there's only 51 pages of images so the more keywords you put in the more specific you're gonna get and the less is gonna come up in your search so you can get as specific as you want and the site is awesome I mean you can you can search for very specific things like you know like let's say you want a picture of the beach you can put in beach and you know there's a ton of great images these images are great to use on the back of a capture page um, or to put quotes on for social media and that kind of stuff so you know these are all pictures of the beach if you want a specific beach or a specific place you know you could put in like let's say I put in Bali and now these are all pictures of Bali Indonesia so when I went to Ireland I was doing a blog post about my trip to Ireland before I went and I didn't have any of my own images of Ireland so I just did a search like this and I was able to find some cool images to use in my blog post for that so you can be as specific as you want you can put in specific places you can put in whatever keywords you want and you will find amazing images and then when you find an images an image that you want to use you just click on it and then you can click on free download and you can download the image or you can even just like right click on it and save image as and these are super you know they come in different sizes and they're super high definition and they work really well for all kinds of um, all kinds of things social media websites capture pages lead pages all that kind of stuff so this is my favorite website to find images on and then real quick I'm just going to show you the other technique that I use to find images if you're searching on Google and let's say you do a search for like dog images so these images come up on Google for dog images the problem with these is most of them are going to be copyrighted and if you go ahead and use these you could get in trouble down the line um, if you have one of these on your website or if you post it on social media or whatever so the best thing to do here is if you're doing a search on Google come over to where it says tools and then usage rights and when you click on usage rights you'll see these different options here so I usually just click labeled for reuse and then it'll limit the amount of images 
but at least you know that you're using images that you're not going to get in trouble for using. So that's a really easy way to find images on Google um, just by using these filters. So tools labeled for reuse. So I hope that's been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave me a comment if this has been helpful. I would also love to hear in the comments um, what your favorite what places are to get royalty-free images. And um, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.